I had not talked to my dad in over 13 years, and our relationship wasn't good. But at some point, my sisters and my brother started planning my dad's 80th birthday. And so I was in the group text message that was going back and forth about what they wanted to do and when it was going to be and all these things. I didn't realize at the time how I had actually cut myself off from my entire family. And it just struck me that I had, I had just blown it. I just blown the only life that I was ever going to have. I binged listen to Brooke's podcast for several months and the one podcast that I kept skipping over was the one called Forgiveness. I was afraid of that one. And then I decided I wanted to make the trip to my dad's 80th birthday, not for him, but for my sisters and my brother and my nieces and my nephews. And so I listened to podcast and it changed my life. It didn't just change my life. It changed my entire family's life. When Brooke said that you don't have to forgive anyone until you're ready to not be angry and resentful, when she said that, I'm like, oh my gosh, the weight is gone. I didn't even realize how heavy it was until it wasn't there anymore. And I didn't have to carry around all of the weight for all of the negative emotions that I had, for all of the pain, for all of the stories that I had told myself about what had happened. So I decided then that I was gonna continue pursuing whatever knowledge and education I could consume. And Brooke had self-coaching scholars. And when we got back, I signed up to start self-coaching scholars. But in the meantime, when I came back, I said, okay, people need to know about the model, so I'm going to start creating workshops. I spent a whole weekend figuring out WordPress. I put a blog up, I started writing, and I was writing one or two blogs every week. And people were really um, interested and they were getting relief from their own pain. And so shortly after I joined Scholars, um, I decided I wanted to be a life coach, but I went ahead and enrolled last year and graduated in April. The trajectory of my family has changed. It, it changed my life.